Welcome to this Core Maths primary video on perimeter. In this video, we're going to look at how to find perimeters of different shapes. So here's our first question. The question says, find the perimeter of this rectangle. So the perimeter of a shape is the distance around the outside. Okay, so it's the total distance. For instance, if you started here, you traveled down, across, up and across, the total distance traveled around the outside of a shape. To find the perimeter, you just add up the lengths of all the sides of the ship, and that will give you the perimeter of the ship. So here we've got a rectangle, and we know the top of it is 2 centimetres. Now, because it's a rectangle, if the top's 2 centimetres, that will also mean the bottom is 2 centimetres also. And we know that the right-hand side is 9 centimetres, so that will mean that the left-hand side will also be 9 centimetres. So to find the total distance around this shape, what we're going to do is we're going to add up all of those numbers. We're going to add up, we're going to do 9 plus 9 plus 2 plus 2. Okay, so 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So the perimeter of that rectangle is 22 centimetres. And that's it. Okay, our next question. So our next question says, find the perimeter of this rectangle. Now, just be careful with the units. Uh, in our last question, the total distance was 22 centimetres. Now, sometimes in the question, you might be given different units. So for instance, this might be a field or something like that. Um, obviously just a picture of one. And we know that the top of the rectangle is 30 meters. So that, mean, that will mean the bottom of the rectangle is 30 meters. And the left-hand side is 16 meters. So that will mean the right-hand side is also 16 meters. And that will mean that we can add those together to get the total perimeter of the shape. So we're gonna do 30 plus 30 plus 16 plus 16. And we'll work out what that is. So 0 plus 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6, plus the number 6 is 12. So put the 2 down, carry the 1. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus another 1 is 8, plus another 1 is 9. So the total perimeter of this shape is 92 metres. Okay, next. Our next question is not a rectangle anymore, it's a square. Um, so we've got, we know that all sides will be equal. So that will mean that if the top is seven centimeters, the right hand side, the bottom and the left hand side are all seven centimeters. So we just need to add up seven, four times, I suppose. We could just do seven times four to be 28, or we could just do seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, and that will give us 28 also. And let's check our units. It was centimeters, so the total distance around this shape is 28 eight centimeters right our next shape is a triangle so just to show it's not always rectangles and squares it could be other shapes so for instance here's a triangle uh, we've got three centimeters four centimeters and five centimeters so to find the perimeter of this triangle we're just going to add those up together so three plus four is seven plus another five is twelve so the answer would be twelve centimeters Okay, this time we've been given an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle where all the sides are the same length. So if the bottom is 11 centimetres, that will mean that the right-hand side and the left-hand side are all 11 centimetres. Again, we could just do 11 times 3 to be 33, or we could do 11 plus 11, 22, plus another 11 to be 33. And let's check our units, centimetres. So the perimeter of this equilateral triangle would be 33 centimetres. Okay, next. This time we've got an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle is a triangle where two sides are the same length and they're shown by little dashes. So we can see that the right hand side and the left hand side are of same length here. So if the right hand side is 24 centimeters, the left hand side will also be 24 centimeters. And to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle, we just need to add together 24, 24 and 13. And when we, sorry, I'll do that again. 24, 24 and 13. And when we add those together, we get 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So you put the 1 down, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus another 1 is 6. So the perimeter of this shape will be 61 centimetres. Okay, our second last example. Uh, this time we've got, it's a bit like an L shape, and some of the sides are missing. So we need to find the perimeter of this shape. So it's the total distance around the outside. So if we started, for instance, here, we would know we were, we were going to go 10 12, 15, 3, but we've got these two sides that are missing. So before we can find the perimeter of this shape, it's very important that we find the missing sides first of all. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on the two sides. So first of all, we've got this horizontal line here that we need to find the length of. Now, to, con to find that one, what we're going to do is we're going to consider the width of the whole shape. The whole shape is 15 across. It's got a width of 15. And if you look at the top, this part is 10. Now, if the whole thing is 15 and this part's 10, this bit will have to be 5 centimetres because 10 plus 5 will give us the total width of 15. 
Okay, so that side is five centimeters. Now, looking at the one going up vertically, this one here, the height of the whole shape is 12 centimeters, and this bit is three centimeters. So three plus this number would give us the 12, and three plus nine is 12. So this height here, this length here is nine centimeters. Okay, so before you find the perimeter of a shape like this, you've got to find the missing sides. And to do that, you either just consider this the lengths going horizontally. So here we had 15 and 10, so the one had to be 5. And vertically, it was 12 and 3, so the one had to be 9. And we're just going to work out the perimeter here by adding those all together. So we're going to do 10 plus 12 plus 15 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9. And just check we've got them all, 10, 12, 15, 3, 5, and 9. Sometimes whenever students do these questions, they might make a mistake by missing out one of the numbers. It's very important you check them. You don't write the same one down twice. Okay, let's add up the units. So 0 plus 2 is 2, plus 5 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 9 is 24. So put the 4 down, carry the 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 5. So that answer would be 54 centimetres. Okay, and let's have a look at our last question. In this question, we've been given a rectangle, and actually we've been given the perimeter of this rectangle, so the total distance around the outside of the rectangle is 80 centimeters. Um, if we know the right-hand side is 12, that will mean that the left-hand side is 12 centimeters, and we need to find this missing value x, the length of the top. So, to find the perimeter, we would usually add up all the sides, and we would get the answer of 80. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna add up what the 12 plus 12 is, so 12 plus 12, is equal to 24. So the total length of these two sides are 24. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that away from 80 to see what's left for the top and the bottom. So 80 minus 24. So 80 minus 24, borrowing one, will give me 10 take away four, which is six, and seven take away two is 56. So the top and the bottom have a total length of 56 because 12 plus 12 plus 56 gives us the 80. Now if we divide the 56 by two because they're the same, if we divide it by two, we'll find the length of the top. So we need to do 56 divided by two. And if we do 56 divided by two, two into five goes twice, remainder one, two into 16 goes eight times. So the total length of the top will be 28 centimeters. That's it. So that's 28 centimeters and that's 28. And if we check it, if you add up together 28, 28, 12 and 12, you should get the 80 that we started with, okay? So to find the perimeter of a shape, you just add up the total distance around the outside of the shape. If there's any missing sides, you make sure you get those and also make sure you use the correct units, okay?